I want to move on to fan questions now. Um, these are kind of thoughtful fan questions that may require a little bit of an answer. So uh, Joystick asks, uh, what's your favorite song to play live and why? And also says, what's the most difficult one and why? All four of you don't have to answer. One of you can just answer. What's uh, um, the favorite song to play live? Well, the most difficult one is uh, a song called Little Joanna. And that's what we've never played it live because it is because so, it's diff so difficult. We tried, we, we've rehearsed it, but ah. it's, it's, it's got so many different parts and so many key changes that it's just too confusing. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever had enough time to really, I'm sure we could do it. Yeah. It's not, it's, it's their bits are really hard. My right. bits are not hard. Your, yours is really easy. Yeah, I do it on my own. What's the problem with like all the, like when <laughs> this is little drum, 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 drum. drum. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, My favorite song to play is probably, I don't know, Lies probably, I think. Just cause it's, it's like that. Mm -hmm. Mine's play it, it's like that. And all the crowd do that. Do that. Yeah. I'm really enjoying the new one. I enjoyed Love Is Easy. But it's yes. also quite hard to play as well because it's new. Because that will the you know a lot of the songs are just second nature. You don't think right. about them when yeah. you're playing. Whereas when you're playing a new song, you're don't mess up, don't mess up, yeah, don't you're mess constantly yeah. thinking of the chord. And I'm playing the ukulele, it's just different chord shapes. So I'm and constantly it's fresh thinking as well, of what it is. so you're like, oh, it's a really nice song. Yeah, but it's really satisfying still to play it. Yeah. You probably like playing the newer songs anyways more just because they're new. Well, well yeah, well, and every, yeah, everything everything we do like. It always changes, and we always put new little parts on that, which are quite exciting. Like Star Girl, there's a different ending on, and you know it doesn't really sound like the record anyway. Like uh, live is where we we sort of sh you know shine, I think, and that's our best ability. And like Five Colors now doesn't sound the same as it does on the record because it's just ten years later that's the version. Like you know what I mean? And we put like different yeah. endings on, and and it's really cool like how we can do that and just mess around with it and and make it more of a show rather than just play a song, play a song, play a song, play a song. All right. Uh, next, Charlotte T, or Charlotte Croft, uh, Harry, yeah. uh, will you ever drop the drums and take up lead vocals for a song? Yes, he has done. Have I? I can be your hero, baby. Yeah, that's not our song, is it? So, no, probably. Until uh, I get some singing lessons. I, I want him to get a head mic and do BVs. <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, I'll tell you why not, because not only do I struggle to sing in tune, I struggle to sing and play drums at the same time. Oh, yeah. So sometimes when I'm in the gig and I'm just playing and singing along, I really want to sing along, but it throws me off coordination-wise. <laughs> so I'm sure I could do it, but yeah, not, I don't not know. Right now. Maybe, maybe, maybe one day. But at the moment, I certainly, no, sorry. Next one, uh, Shannon Daily 8. Uh, if, uh, if there was one really famous band or group who would you want to tour with, or who would it be? If you could go on tour with another band or group, and only one of you can answer if you'd like to make it easier. Who's the biggest touring band in the world? Uh, what, it depends on what year you're in. It could be the Rolling Doesn't Stones. Matter. We'll just go with them. <laughs> <laughs> whoever, whoever, we'd like to open for the Rolling Stones. Coldplay, sure. <laughs> Do you know, yeah. If, if, if there's no answer, there's no answer. Chilies, chili peppers. Red Hot Chili Peppers, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine us supplying the chilies. Well, it we could work. do it, it could work, why not? Right. I think the thing is with McFly is that if you don't know us, I'm pretty certain you'll enjoy it Yeah. live. But if you know us, you'll hate it. But if you know us, <laughs> yeah, you will, will not like it. Well, that's kind of the beauty of, you know, in a way coming to a, a place where you're not incredibly as yeah. known as you Definitely, are in the Definitely, that's UK. what's exciting about us. You know, we don't, in the UK, there's always... It's hard to complain because we've, you know, we're still around and we're still having success. But there's always kind of a, you know, a stereotype attached with you. You, know, you get pitched, especially when you're a band that started when, you know, one of us was 15, you know, 15, 16, 17. You're that right. young. You get kind of pigeonholed quite easily, which we've managed to. Um, no one's pigeonholing you. No, no exactly like over here. You know, people are. We have obviously our kind of hardcore dedicated fans who are here seeing us play tonight, but. You know, as a whole, we're, we're on the whole, we're kind of unknown, which is nice that people have seen us for the first time as we are now, you know, almost 10 years into our career. It's the beauty of the internet, you're not really unknown. Mm -hmm. Look at uh, One Direction. Yeah. I'm not comparing you necessarily to One Direction. You see? He's actually, he's not connected to the internet. Um, <laughs> They're like my favorite band. Uh, this is for Dougie. I'm a Hello. chick. Oh, wait, sorry. Pointer Lover. Hello, Pointer Lover. <laughs> She says, uh, I'm a chick bass player. Thoughts on female bassists? XO and a little heart sign. Oh, he's got a second chance at this one. Female bassists are very, very hot. 
I, I, coming from one. Right. <laughs> Takes one to no one. Um, Dougie, what thickness... Hang on. This is from Jade MR1. What thickness of plectrum do you use to play bass? Ooh. Ooh. Good question. Uh, See, I, I got, got the good ones. I have got in my pocket. They're the uh, orange Dunlops. Whatever. Orange Dunlops. Thickness. 60 millimeters to be. Is this, is this a brand endorsement of Dunlop? Yeah. yeah Just, no. <laughs> we if love, you'd like to we sponsor love Dunlop. We love Dunlop. These are the best plectrums ever. <laughs> there, we love the color, the shape. You the, actually use the, quite thin ones for basses, don't you? Uh, is that the same as what Tom and Danny yeah. use? Yeah. Well, it, it, it was just it was just ones. easier when we first started to all get the same plectrum. So. All right. That was just lazy, really. Obviously, it's Jazz or Mrs. Danny Jones. Hey, I wonder who this one's going to be for. Uh, why has Danny got braces? His teeth were perfect. And a they're little. Actually, they're looking really good now. The, are those new? These are new. Yeah. Um, the reason why is that. Uh, it's a long story. You would like to I spent so much money at the dolls of Dantes and they weren't straight so I was like put me a brace on and I need it done quick how long do you need them to keep them on for? Uh, I, get, I get them off next time I go next, what but I've been saying that every time I go back they were meant to be off in March before the tour weren't they they were meant to be off in March but every time I go back we find something that annoys find me find a new Does tooth I find the new tooth that <laughs> I need to straighten will they stay now huh or will they stay where they are now yeah because I'll get the thing on the back has it affected your singing at all the braces yeah he's really rubbish now he's really annoying I just... You just have a list now. It's yeah, 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 yeah